Hi guys, welcome back, welcome back. My name is Dr. Abby and I'm one of the chiropractors here at Chiro for Moms. And so if you are new to our channel, welcome. Make sure you subscribe. We have content coming out daily, weekly, and everything in between. If you are hopping back on for another video, so happy to have you here. Today's topic, so we're diving again into niching down. So kind of two avenues here for the provider. We're talking about niche down, how to specialize your clinic. We here specialize in pregnancy, postpartum, and pediatric care, but truly the tools that we have here can provide to any specialized clinic in the area. So if it's sports for you, if it's just kiddos for you, if it's anything else under the planet, take these, hone into them and make it work for you. And then also providing you with cash tips, cash-based practice, um, little tidbits. We run a cash-based practice, so ways to be efficient, ways to be effective, and to have a successful cash-based practice. So that's an overview. If you want more information, please subscribe. Let us know the questions that you have. But today, I'm diving into niching down. So when we talk about niching down, it's a lot of how can you take this big clinic, right, and make it specialized? How can you make your treatment, make your care, make your community really geared towards a population, become really, really good at that population, be a specialized clinic, be comfortable treating a subset of society. And so one way that we do that, right, is through our community. And so we've talked a lot about Instagram and YouTube and different apps and different ways that we've connected, but we haven't really talked about our newsletter. And it's something that I guess we don't really talk about on social. So our newsletter has kind of transformed, I would say over the last six months or so. So we had a newsletter going out weekly and we called it our weekend warrior. So we would send out an email. We have an email, right, based on patients and people can subscribe to our newsletter and whether they're a patient or not and get the information. So our weekend warrior would be one kind of women's pregnancy, maybe postpartum topic, right? Anything under the moon. And then we'd have a pediatric and we try to come up with a fun name to kind of captivate, captivate both of them in a heading a caption under the email that people would grab people in right a lot of us are so used to just like deleting emails so we needed something that would kind of catch people's attention also as a way to drive youtube numbers right because we live on youtube and have passive income coming in through youtube we also want to drive people to our channel so by having this weekend warrior they would do exactly that so one might be about ribs and diaphragms and the other one is about colics and babes so we would do a video a weekend warrior video it's typically about five to seven minutes and it would be like as if we were talking to parents, right? So it would be maybe a couple stretches, but also lifestyle tips, some education on why is babe feeling this way? Why are maybe you feeling this way? You know, the ribs do expand throughout pregnancy. Most women don't really realize that. Like there's a reason why you're having some shortness of breath. There's a reason why you have low back pain. So we'd educate them on relaxing. Different things to help them register like why are you feeling this way and there's a reason that chiropractic helps those things and so let us help you let us send you different stretches different exercises different products so that you can relieve those symptoms or for a babe where that has transformed the last six months is people weren't really watching them people are trying to be on their phones last people don't want to read their emails on the weekends and we did time it so we would typically send it out on sunday nights most people on a Friday night aren't checking their emails, and they shouldn't be on a Saturday too. Most people shouldn't and aren't checking their emails. Sunday night though, people are getting ready for their week. They're checking their schedules, they're double checking their appointments. That's where we see a lot of appointments coming in. So we'd wanna send it typically up through then. But again, we weren't seeing those hours, so we've transformed a little bit. And so we've now shifted it more to like a newsletter based on our community. So within that newsletter, we have what we call Cairo Tracks. So we have created a Spotify playlist that we play here in the clinic. So we have a February playlist and we will send that playlist out in March. And it has just like a nice vibe to it um, each month. That's what we're going to be doing. And so we've had patients notice that the music we're playing in here is different than usual. Typically, we would just play a playlist on Spotify, call it a day, but now we really curated it, curated it, words are hard sometimes, to what is kind of the vibe in the clinic or in the world. And so in February, you know, we have a couple extra like 
lovey-dovey songs, songs that people can just jam out to, but also this month's been super weird with the weather, so a lot of like Noah Khan chill, chill vibes. They were like, I really like it. Like, it's really nice. You have a kind of a mixture. There's a couple of Mamma Mia songs thrown in there. Um, and then March is a little bit more upbeat. It's a little bit more like, okay, here we go. With still some of that chill vibes. And then as we go into summer, right, it's a lot of that quote unquote from Minnesota, right, lake life. It's a little bit more country. It's a little bit more upbeat. A little less of that like soulish type music. So we include that in there. We also include different information. So we're still putting in different stretches and exercises, but they're shorter videos, you know, one about rib and low back and one about gas and constipation. And then just doing it like a featured product. If you're dealing with constipation, here's one thing to try rather than a whole video to try. If you're dealing with rib pain, here's one stretch and here's a photo to go with it. And then we're also talking about things in the community, right? We're talking about a community and we want to build a community. We want to sponsor people in our community. We have so many local local business owners that we just want to feature we want to love on and we want to support so having little information about them I know I think in January right there's a lot of like ice skating and there was Disney on ice this other week and what else we had a bar three event different studios different events going from the area being like hey super cool check this out make it a more of a community newsletter Fox and Pantry is one of the coffee shops we frequent, right? Here's Dr. Abby's favorite coffee drink at Fox and Pantry. If you happen to go, give it a try. Let us know what you think. Trying to support where our people and where our patients are going and talking about it and giving those recommendations because we want to build a community. So if you are thinking about signing out a newsletter, I encourage you to really think about what is your goal with it and also remembering who are you kind of catering towards? If people have time on the weekend to read, to listen, is it more of the podcast route? Is that the route you want to go? Awesome. Become really good at that. Talk about the things that people want to hear. Make it a little bit different and try to incorporate what are your patients interested in and how can your newsletter support them? And we've gone to a monthly basis too. A weekly, while it was great getting our name out and getting, staying on the type of people's minds, it was just becoming a lot and again people weren't watching it so we went down to this monthly so now people have something to look forward to it does catch their eye because it's not something that's cycling through every single week uh we love our newsletter it is ever evolving and it's just fun to have a creative outlook that isn't face to face um so i do encourage you to try the newsletter see how it feels make it organic be open to change and think about what your patients want when creating it. Make it fun, make it different. Create a Spotify playlist if you so choose. It is a good time. Uh, and you can start to kind of hear each doctor's and each team member's personalities kind of shine through the music. So that is our newsletter. If you have more questions about what it looks like, maybe our templates, uh, stay tuned. Would love to throw you a little fun surprise at some point, but subscribe, let us know any questions, please leave in the comments below. Always happy to answer those. It really helps us guide what you guys are looking for to provide you with the best information possible. So have a wonderful time and we'll chat with you guys next time.